Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to share with you a simple recipe that can help you grow your hair faster and also help to thicken your hair. Now, if you're interested, definitely be sure to keep on watching and I'll suggest you watch till the end of the video so you get to see all of the steps and also instructions on how to use it. Now, this recipe contains only two main ingredients and it's super easy and simple to make. Now, let's hop right in to the video to begin with you are going to need some flat seeds so these are the regular one I got this from Amazon and I will link it down below but feel free to use the brown flat seeds if that's all you've got available this one is gold is golden so you're gonna add four tablespoons of flat seeds to a pan next we're gonna go ahead and add in some water now flat seeds helps to grow hair faster and longer by providing nourishment to the hair follicles it also helps to stimulate the follicles and scalp and reduces free radical damage to the hair so next i'm going to go ahead and add in some rosemary now rosemary has been shown to help again strengthen the hair follicles and essentially does that by improving the blood circulation around the scalp which can help to prevent hair loss and essentially help in pro uh, providing nutrients to the follicles to stimulate new hair growth so after I added some water guys, I just popped this on the stove and I'm bringing the whole thing to the boil. So you want to boil it for about 5 minutes or until you start to notice that the water is becoming a bit slimy in texture. Now after boiling it for about 5 minutes, you're going to turn off the stove and take it off. So this is what it looks like after it has boiled for about 5 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and sieve it right away while it is still liquid in its form. Now if you allow it to cool down, it will form a gel and it can be just a little bit trickier to get the gel out you can still do it but i prefer to do it this way just because it's a lot easier right so take a, a sieve and pop it on top of a bowl and pour the whole thing on there and then that's it while it's hot it's still liquid but when it cools down it will become a gel i'm going to show you guys the texture of this in just a little bit now this is what it looks like after it has completely cooled down so you can see it has formed a gel now if you're looking to have a thicker gel then add less water or you can boil your flax seeds for a little bit longer next i'm going in here with two tablespoons of my homemade aloe vera hair growth oil i've got this on available on my website naturalvanesta.com i will link it in the description box down below if you're interested in getting it this oil contains pure aloe vera rosemary and some other extra stuff which help a lot when it comes to regrowing both spots and just having healthy hair in general if you don't have it guys it's fine you can use olive oil or whatever diy oil that you have sitting around so add about two tablespoons stir and get it as combined as you can possibly and then pop it in a mixing jar and that's it you're ready to use and it's so good on the hair honestly this is amazing it makes detangling the hair super easy it moisturizes it thickens the hair and essentially it helps to prevent hair loss so very very good so i'm going to show you guys how i'm using it and talk a bit more about how often you can use this to see results so this is what my hair looks like at the moment i'm currently wearing an ultra style and my hair is definitely in need of some kind of moisture now i'm showing you guys what my edges are looking like right now because somebody actually asked to see what my edges were looking like and yeah this is what it looks like now um, I'm, I've just gone through postnatal shedding just like I talked about earlier so I lost my edges and also my overall hair thickness to some extent so I am still trying to regrow my edges but it's doing a lot better than what we had initially still not quite there but we're working on it and once I'm ready with the final um, results of what I'm doing I will definitely share in the nearest future so in order to apply this to your hair guys it's always better that you work in sections it makes working on your hair super easy and also it helps to minimize unnecessary tangles and breakage in the end 
so after you sectioned your hair i did a bit of finger detangling just like you saw here i always do finger detangling first it makes detangling my hair super easy and again help to minimize breakage so after i've done that i'm just going through with our uh, conditioner that we made earlier so i'm just going to apply this throughout my hair so starting from the roots all the way to the ends you can apply this to your scalp as well so you can reap the benefits i just love how it slides it literally makes your hair so smooth and it literally um the hair absorbs it really nicely and it just feels really good so after i've applied that throughout I'm using a white tooth comb to properly detangle my hair and get rid of any shed hair that I may have. Now notice how moisturized my curls are looking already. Like this is amazing. I'm going to show you guys what the, my curls look like a little bit down the video but this thing is really good. It helps to define your curls and like I said it can help as well thicken your hair if you're using it on a regular basis or consistently. Now the one thing that you have to be aware of is that this is um, this contains protein. So if your hair is protein sensitive then perhaps don't use as often. So maybe use once every four weeks or once every three weeks depending on how your hair reacts to protein. So after I detangled that part of the hair, I went ahead and twisted it. I'm now going to move on to the next section and repeat until the rest of my hair is done. Now notice I'm not using any other oil just because we already have oil in this conditioner. So it's really not necessary. But if you feel the need to use more oil, please go ahead and do that. So once you've applied the conditioner to the hair, then follow with an oil or butter um, if you are looking to have, you know, a bit more oil essentially. Now, I normally apply this to my hair and I don't wash it out. So I'm using it as a leave-in conditioner, but you can use it as a people treatment if you would like. And essentially apply it to your hair and allow it to sit for a little bit and then go ahead and shampoo your hair afterwards. But you don't necessarily have to. Now, in order to see results from this, guys, you'll have to use consistently so um perhaps twice a week or even once a week but i would say that you listen to your hair so if you 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 are protein sensitive then perhaps don't use as often because this contains protein and you do not want to have a protein overload guys because honestly protein overload is the worst thing ever it makes your hair super dry it causes breakage and all of that which is essentially what we're trying to avoid so please listen to your hair and if like i said is sensitive to protein then perhaps don't use as often as you need to so i'm just applying this throughout my hair just like you saw here guys and i'm detangling look at how my curls are popping can you guys see that it's really really defining my curls and i'm loving it and it makes detangling your hair super simple super easy and pretty quick as well and afterwards their hair is quite nice and moisturized and shiny and i really love it i hope that you guys will go ahead and try it out and if you do please let me know how you you're getting on or how you found it i would love to hear from you guys i'm just showing you guys what the curls are looking like right now look at that honestly these curls are looking amazing and yeah i'm so in love with that so this brings me to the end of the video guys i hope you guys have enjoyed watching and if you did please thumbs up the video also subscribe to the channel if you're not already i make lots of diy recipe for healthy high growth and maintenance so if this is your type of content please consider clicking the subscribe button to join us and also share the video with a friend a family or anybody you believe could benefit from today's video and i'll catch you in my next one thanks so much for watching guys until next time bye